Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for next seven days, you can say, right? So what do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leos? Oh, I guess we got two of them right off the bat. Interesting because somebody just got these, but they just fell off. They jumped right out of the deck. Um, I'm not sure who got these. Advice from a friend and news of a birth or a new business opportunity. So I think that Scorpio got these. I'm not sure if you're dealing with a Scorpio or not. Um, but we have dog barking. Advice from a friend. Okay. I got to take them. They, they fell out. I mean, I gotta, when a card falls out, that's a sign to take the card. You don't put it back in the deck. <laughs> At least I don't. Anyhow, stork, news of a birth or a new business opportunity. Okay, so. Hmm. Well, that's a pile. I'm going to take them all. Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. So you need to be shrewd, right? There's a friend that can give you advice. Dragon, oh, are you ready for this? Are you? Are you ready for this? This isn't, this isn't gonna be easy. Okay, um, beware of self-delusion. Mm. Kangaroo, unsettled times, need to plan ahead. So you're going to need to plan ahead. Be careful with your money during this time because, it, you know, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. November. November is prominent. May have something to do with Scorpio season. We have marriage on the table here. And then PIN, new job career. News of a birth or new business opportunity. This looks like it's a business opportunity to me. You need to plan ahead, but you also need to be aware of self-delusion. And be careful with who you're, you're getting advice from. I don't know if you're dealing with a Scorpio or not, but I think that you need to be careful. Shrewdness and resource, resourcefulness, especially in business. You need to be careful. There's something about November. I mean, there could be somebody here that, I don't know, you're dealing with some, either it's Scorpio season or a Scorpio here. Now, I'm not sure if this person is giving you some advice. It's advice from a friend. This may be your friend. But this beware of self-delusion card is here, so you definitely need to be careful. And we have some unsettled times, so you need to plan ahead. I gotta be honest with you. I mean, what I'm feeling is that there is a Scorpio that is giving you some advice that you shouldn't listen to. I'm sorry, that's what I got or somebody that has Scorpio in their chart, strong Scorpio in their chart. I don't know why I feel that way. It doesn't have to be a Scorpio, I suppose, but it's making my stomach turn as we talk about it, so I don't know. What do we have for Leo? New job, new career, new job or career, need to plan ahead, get all your ducks in a row. Mm. Came out reversed when we give it to you upright, deep spiritual connection. So you do have a deep spiritual connection here. I'm straightening out my cards. They're a mess. I don't know if you're involved in a messy situation or what. What do we have for Leo? 
Ooh, Libra. Libra is about justice. I don't know if you're gonna, there could be some legal issues that you're dealing with, but we definitely have a realignment here. Um, probably some truth being revealed. Something may have happened during Libra season that you're going to be dealing with now. Or dealing, well, it is Libra season, isn't it? Isn't it? But you might be dealing with it in November. There's a realignment that is happening. Some sort of truth is coming out about a spiritual connection. I don't know if, it, I mean, that deep spiritual connection came out reverse. So who knows? Mmm. We have a big heart here. Somebody that has a big, 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 big heart. A message is coming that you do not want to hear. I have to tell you, that heart came out reversed. I don't know why. Kind of like the deep spiritual connection. So I don't know if there's a broken heart here. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I mean... Definitely could be. Um, whatever's happening, everything is happening as it should with the Libra card. Everything is turning out as it should. Beware of self-delusion. You've got to be honest with yourself. That Libra Justice card is about honesty. It's about being honest with yourself. One more card. One more card. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Capricorn is a card of perseverance, or it's an energy of perseverance and overcoming obstacles and hard work. So I do believe there's some sort of hard work ahead. I, for some of you, there's there's going to be some legal issues, or there could be a loss even. I have some caution tape, so you do need to beware. There's something going on here. There is something going on here. Libra, heart, Capricorn. Justice, realignment, truth. I don't know if there's a, there, we got somebody here that is, I don't know if they're pursuing, they're pursuing somebody else. Oh, let's get some more cards. There's a realignment that is happening. I don't know if there's a separation here. Everything is happening as it should. New opportunity is coming. The sun. That's good. This is your energy. This is a new day. It's a breakthrough. It's a life-giving energy. So there, you definitely have a new beginning here. You do have a new beginning. This is beautiful. It's bliss. It's happiness. It's joy. You're going to be getting exactly what you deserve. There's a deep spiritual connection here, maybe with somebody that has a really, really big heart. But there is some sort of sadness because that ace, I mean, that uh, heart reversed, it came out reversed. So there's some sort of sadness. There's hard work ahead. It's not easy. It's not going to be easy. There's this, whatever this spiritual connection is, it's not going to be easy. But the answer is yes with the sun card. Starting a new life. That's a new, that's a renewal. It's a breakthrough. It's a life giving energy. It's a new beginning. It's beautiful. So you do have a beautiful new beginning here. You're shining. You're glowing. You're looking really, really good. I just happened to focus on that butterfly. Butterfly is a card of transformation, which is, a, and you know, death. But it, with endings lead to new beginnings. You definitely are transforming. You're going through a transformation. Um, you are definitely looking beautiful. You are vibrating at a very, very, very high level. Mm, look at this, King of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is an, starting over. It's starting, going down a path, starting from scratch. Uh, definitely hard work ahead. 
This is work, 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 work. And Capricorn's all about work, 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 work. If you want it to be successful, it's going to have, it's work. There's going to be work involved. This is work, 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 work. Now, if this has to do with your job, work, 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 work. There's abundance that is coming. I mean, the, the King of Pentacles is a hard worker who has obtained success through hard work and perseverance. This is somebody who is abundant, that has a lot to offer, that is loyal, that is stable, that is solid. Um, this person appears to be very, very comfortable. They may be giving you a golden opportunity. Somebody's going to be giving you a golden opportunity. They are. They are. It's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm positive. This person has very good intentions. Very good. Very, very good intentions. This person um, sees some sort of value in you and they're going to be making you some sort of proposal. Could be about a job. Could be a job proposal. Whatever it is, is some sort of proposal. I, it could be a marriage. Just look at the marriage card. Could be a marriage proposal. I don't know. We do have a yes answer here. We do. There is a deep spiritual connection. I, maybe there's been a separation and, and now things are starting to get better. There's healing energy and the sun card is getting better. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful new beginning here. You may be just connecting with somebody that you are very much aligned with. Because in the Libra card, the scales are aligned. So this is some sort of alignment here. Ooh, the world card reversed. That's the signifier card. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. You are involved with somebody where it's like it's not over. It's not over. There's no. no there's a. There's some sort of unfinished business. There's been a lack of success up until now. There has chariot in reversed death card as well. That's in their section. Their section. So chariot re chariot reversed death and the nine of cups. It's interesting that I mentioned death. That's in their sex section. I don't know if this is a very strong sexual a attraction because I wanted to keep saying that. We have. Uh, I was gonna say Leo. We have strength in your section. Section. Uh, seven of cups. And the hangman. So you are probably waiting. You're waiting for something. You may be sacrificing yourself for some sort of cause. Exploring your options. Thinking about your options. We got in your section, we got the hangman, the seven of cups, and the strength card. You may be restraining yourself. You're finding your inner patience, right? I feel like you're going through some sort of spiritual awakening. You're, because you're learning some sort of lesson about patience. That's what this is too, isn't it? It's about patience. It's about restraint. It's about uh, waiting for the right time. It's about timing. Um, I feel like you need to continue to be patient. Be patient. Whoever you're dealing with is a very hard worker. They're loyal. They're stable. They're solid. They're secure. They have a lot to offer you. I feel like you may be in a state of confusion right now. You're wondering what is going on. This is confused. You know, and I feel like you are. I feel like you're wondering what is going on. You're feeling, um, maybe you're starting to explore your options. You know, I mean, you're thinking about your options. You're thinking about your choices. We definitely have thinking with the hangman. There's some sort of lack of closure here. or There's a lack of success as the signifier card between the both of you. The world card is a lack of success. It's like resisting change. You may be dealing with somebody that is resisting change. Or you may be resisting change. Um, perseverance is needed. I feel like it's time to step into new territory. But we got somebody here that is struggling. They're struggling. They're struggling with moving forward. They have their brakes on. I think that you're dealing with somebody that does not move fast. So if say if you are a Leo and you are dealing with an earth sign, there could definitely be a little bit of a clash because Leos like to go fast. Your fire, fire moves fast. It does. Sometimes it gets uncontrollable. It moves so fast. Earth does not. So you may be, and this is what you're learning. I feel like you're learning patience. You're learning patience. I feel like you need to continue to uh, 
wait, <laughs> be patient. And I don't like to tell people to wait, but I, I really feel like you're, you're, you're waiting, you're waiting, but you're still, you're still uh, a little bit confused. I think that you have multiple options or you're still exploring your options. Maybe, maybe you're struggling. You're struggling. The team is about struggling, um, struggling with this weight, struggling with, uh, uh, this restraint. I feel like right now you're working on your health. You're working on yourself. You're absolutely beautiful at this time, male or female. You are really vibrating at a high level. Okay. You really, 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 really are. You, you are the epitome of strength and everybody can see it. Okay. The strength and beauty. Okay. We have strength and the sun card. You are absolutely glowing okay you're in a beautiful place everybody can see your gentle nature they can see your uh tactful manner okay you're really coming across as a beautiful person okay i mean what more can i say you really 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 are um, I think that you're going through a period of growth, okay, with the hey man and the sun card. This is definitely a period of growth. You are learning some sort of lesson right now. And I feel like this lesson has to do with patience. It has to do with truth as well, okay? Accepting the truth, being honest. And, I, you know, sometimes we all do it, especially when we're younger, okay? We try to lie our way out of things, you know? Uh, everybody does it. There's not one sign that is any more of a liar than the other one. Okay, but I feel like you uh, need to really be honest with yourself and be honest with other people. You know, just tell the truth. Just be honest. That's what this Libra card is is about. It's about being honest and upfront and speaking your truth, but also telling the truth. Not and and keeping yourself under control. Don't don't try to manipulate with any type of lies. And I don't know why I'm saying that, but for some reason I am. Okay? Um whoever you are dealing with is in absolutely no hurry. Um I also feel like you and I'm going to change the story for a minute. I'm not sure if there could be a loss here. I don't know if we have somebody here that is drinking and driving. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but that's what I just saw when I looked at these cards. Okay, we got the chariot reversed, which is a, could be an accident. Okay, we got death, which is a sudden ending. Then we have the nine of cups, which is, which is a whole lot of drinking. Okay, this is a whole lot of drinking. Death, driving. Okay, so I mean, I could, I, I could just not say that like all the other readers, but that's not who I am because I'm very honest and upfront and truthful. Okay, and right above that is Capricorn card. So I don't know who you're dealing with, but I feel like uh, you def we had the caution tape, didn't we? Yes, we did. We did. So, they're, you know, the death, whoever you're dealing with is going through a transformation. Maybe they have addictions. Maybe, they're, maybe they drink. Maybe they're going to stop drinking, you know, uh, because the, the chariot reversed is a stop. And then we have drinking. This is a major transformation. So maybe somebody, that's what that transformation is. Maybe it's, it's not, you know, there is a, something about drinking and stopping drinking you know, and going through a major life transformation, okay? Now, the world card reversed is a lack of closure, okay? It's flogging a dead horse. It's laziness. An attitude adjustment is needed between you and this person, okay? You need to be patient, okay? You need to be patient. You need to allow and not force anything. I feel like... Uh, It's not over. It's not over with whoever this person is that you're struggling with. It's definitely not over. Um, there's a drinking problem here. There's definitely a drinking problem here. There is, I don't know if there's news of legality. Somebody could be getting, there could be something to do with court here. Somebody could end up in court. They could, punishment could be with the hey man. You know, if somebody does not control their drinking, they could end up in court. I don't know who that is, or end up in jail, or who knows what. Um, but either way, we have that sun card is right around the corner, which is extreme happiness, bliss, um, beautiful new life, life-giving energy, a warm place. 
Some of you may be moving to a warm place. Maybe there's been a delay. Um, you're going to be getting some sort of proposal because we saw that King of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. This is a new job offer or whatever that is, Page of Pentacles is a proposal to do something that you may have never done before, that you didn't expect. It's going to require a lot of hard work. You may be in the spotlight. You may be put right in the spotlight. Maybe it's in, and I know that you guys are the actors and the actresses of the world. You know, definitely you could be put on the stage. New contract. New life. Wish fulfillment. You know, who, who, you know, and we do definitely have Scorpio here as well with that death card. We have Scorpio, we have Leo, we have Cancer, we have Leo again, Capricorn, and Libra. And Pisces. But I feel like you have been hanging on to something. You've been sacrificing yourself, definitely. I feel like you've been waiting. You've been, you've been sacrificing yourself for some sort of cause. There's been some sort of confusion. You've been restraining yourself. You've gone through a period of enlightenment and growth. You've gained a lot of strength, inner strength. I feel like you're glowing, okay? You're beautiful. Somebody is really seeing your, your beauty, okay? Your new life is about to begin. It really is. What is this world card reversed? What is this world card reversed? Be careful what you choose because what you own owns you. You have an opportunity for a new life here. You need to be willing to move forward. Do not look back. You need to be willing to go to a new place. You need to be willing to let go of the past you need to you need to you need to okay this may require travel it may require moving it's like with the world card reverse there's a lack of success there's a lack of of accomplishment here but what is this world card reversed there's illusion with the seven of cups Four of Pentacles reversed and the Emperor. So there is somebody that is in a position of authority that is going to be giving you an opportunity for a new life. I don't know if this comes with, an, with a death. I mean, I don't know. It could come with a death. Um, because the Emperor is right next to death. I, mean, I don't know if this is like a father figure. Or what is this This Emperor? This is a boss or a leader or somebody that makes very prominent decisions. This is a decision maker that is making a decision. This person is going to give you something. They're going to be opening up to you with the Four of Pentacles reversed. They're going to be opening up to you. They're going to be offering you something that... You know, they were probably exploring their options, but I feel like they've decided to give it to you. I feel like you're going to be really, really happy with this change. This is a profound change. It really is. You're going to be getting something that makes you extremely happy. But what is this chariot reversed? That's, that's, that's something coming to a stop. It is. Emotions all over the place. Six of Swords reversed. Interesting, because this is like definitely a stop. Not going anywhere. Chariot reversed, Six of Swords reversed. Whoever you're dealing with is not going anywhere. There's been some sort of delay. There's been some sort of delay. Let's get one more card. They're stuck. Troubled. Somebody is troubled. They're having a hard time. They're having a hard time right now. Somebody you're dealing with is having a hard time. They're struggling. They're struggling with their thoughts. 
They're struggling with moving on. Maybe they haven't healed from a previous breakup or something. You got to be careful when you get into something with somebody and they haven't healed. Reluctant to take a new approach. Ten of Wands reversed. Ten of Wands reversed is letting go, making a conscious change. This person is carrying has a lot of baggage, okay? They've been carrying a heavy burden. They've been trying to prove something, maybe to themselves, maybe to the outer world. This person has had a lot going on. They've been extremely busy. Whoever you're dealing with has been trying to do too much, okay? That's why they haven't been able to take charge and move forward as fast as you'd like them to. They're a little overwhelmed right now, but they're making conscious changes in their life. Five of Pentacle, I mean Five of Wands, I don't know why I do that, I always do. Five of Wands is some sort of competition next to the Death card, fight, pettiness. Drama. Dramatic, there's drama here, there is definitely some drama here. You're dealing with somebody who thrives on competition okay this person likes competition this person uh may be very dramatic okay they may be uh, maybe they have a lot of people that are trying to pursue them in some way you know what i mean it feels like they're making a tough choice profound change somebody that you're dealing with is going through a profound life change they like the attention that they get, so they may be struggling to let that go. There could be a fight. There could be an angry outburst. Chariot reverse, five of wands, very troubled mind overwhelmed could cause somebody to have an outburst. I mean, we're talking about the next seven days. There could be an emotional outburst or an angry outburst ahead. Could Somebody could be drinking. They could be drunk and they flip out. One more card. Seven of Pentacles reverse. This is unrealistic. It's dissatisfying. This is like a dead end, right? There's no growth here. It's time to invest in something else. The season is over. I feel like we have somebody here that we may have a dead end here. We may have a dead end. Fighting, bickering, not going anywhere, struggling to move on causing a fight, picking a fight. Somebody could be picking a fight. Now, we, I've, 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 I've labeled or I've mentioned many different stories here. I have. We have went from one to the other to the other to the, uh, to the other. And that's how it is. We have thousands of people watching these readings. We definitely could have an argument here where somebody decides to invest in something else. They're very, very troubled. There could be a sudden you know, fight here. And it, I feel like it comes from drinking. This There could be an argument that comes from somebody overdoing it. They're drinking too much. You know, and it causes a big argument and it doesn't, you know, end well. Be careful with your choices. Be honest with yourself. Are you making the right decision to invest in somebody that has a drinking problem? Have you learned your lessons from the past? I don't know where that came from. We definitely have impulsive behavior. This is reckless. It's moving too fast. This is a show off. It's violence. It's overly competitive. 
So I feel like there, there's definitely something happening this week. You know, I'm not sure if the, if the law gets involved, but I do feel like you're also going to be receiving an opportunity. I also feel like you're going to be receiving an opportunity because of that page of pentacles and the king of pentacles. I feel like you're going to be receiving an opportunity or you're going to be starting a new project or uh, starting a new endeavor, okay? Uh, expanding yourself in some way. We have a new prospect here or, or a new project or something like that. You're, it's like somebody sees something in you and they're going to be giving you an opportunity that can increase your money, okay? It can, incre and it, it can increase your abundance. But we also have another story here, okay? We have several stories here. Okay? You're going to have to choose wisely because in your section is the Seven of Cups. Choose your options. Choose your, make your choice and do it. Choose wisely. All that glitters is not gold. Make sure that you are not choosing. Make sure you choose for yourself. Okay, you choose for yourself, not for another person. What you own, owns you. When you make your choice, it's like this is a contract. This is a contract. Somebody may ask you to sign a contract. Be careful with your choices, okay? Because I feel like you're going to receive an offer that, you know, you have to sign some sort of contract. And I think that you need to be careful with that contract. Um, it's time to let go of the past with the four of, of a pentacles reversed and the world card reversed, okay? You need to, to decide to make a definitive decision to focus on your new life. So I feel like this week you're going to be going through... You know, your options, you're going to be, you have an opportunity here, you definitely do, for long-term stability with the Page of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. You definitely have an opportunity for abundance, but once you make that choice, you know, that's the choice you made. The Seven of Cups about consequences. Be careful. Make sure that you choose wisely. Do you want this new life? Do you want this new life? Or do you want to continue to play games? Or do you want to continue to uh, deal with somebody that has a drinking problem? I don't know, but we got to go. Good luck.